Hello everyone, welcome to Explore ORZ. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys have an amazing day today. So today, we are going to share about the top 8 most dangerous animals kept as pets that you guys don't know and probably know. So let's check it out. Trying to keep undomesticated animals as pets is never a great idea. These creatures can threaten human beings, while others abandon to grow when separated from their original habitats. Even when raised in a house from a junior age, these animals hold their wild senses, making them random and hard to control. Here are pets that do not perform as good pets. Number 8 is Tigers. The Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries expects that 5,000 restricted tigers are inhabitants of the United States, the large bulk exists with special buyers rather than in certified zoos. Mountain animals are likewise famous exotic lovers. One recent mount lion keeper, Amber Michelle Couch, of Odessa, Texas, got out the wrong action after her 4-year-old relative was almost beaten to death by her 12-year-old, 150 cunning lovers after the kid got too close near the cage. The boy endured multiple injuries and broken wounds all over his body and appearance. Miraculously the boy persevered, but the tiger must execute. Number 7 is Wolf Dog Mixes. We usually hear about the deadly allure of the wolf dog mixture, the most popular wild slash domestic pet hybrid, in the statements after it's very too slow. Owners were executed, and pets were hit to give the illegal stigma of the big, bad wolf into cuddly dog apparel. The USDA rates around 300,000 and 500,000 wolf dogs as domestic pets in the US. The most typical hybrid is gray wolves mixed with German Shepherds, Alaskan Malamutes, or Siberian Huskies for the friendliest wolf-like character. Perhaps the most famous case involves 50-year-old Sandra Piovazan of Salem, Pittsburgh. In 2005, Piovazan suffered death after being stabbed by a gang of nine wolf dog hybrids that she grew and impersonated within garden plots at her residential house. Number 6 is Primates. Not just are monkeys identified for delivering their waste to you, the Centers for Disease Control insists they can also spread several dangerous infections to humans. To show that size doesn't mean when it happens to a primate freakout, take this story of JJ to mind. The three-foot-tall, nine-year-old pet macaque primate used a diaper, worn up as Santa for the weekends, and presented it with the children at his Okeechobee, Florida house. Gone after, he became suddenly on his keeper, tearing apart his fingers, thigh, and buttocks. JJ's buyer is Jimmy Schwal, who ended 200 injuries besides a two-week course of medication to stop the viruses listed before. Schwal and his spouse, Mona, had kept JJ as love since he was three weeks early. Number 5 is Bears, Tigers, Lions, and Bears. These untrained creatures force be between your visions who have tamed pets, but most of us recognize that as adorable and cuddly as they look at a hand, they earn to be free. In 2009, a Pennsylvania lady, Kelly Ann Waltz, she kept a lioness, a tigress, and a bear, between other wild pets, as favorites, paid the ultimate cost for her confusion when she enrolled the 350-pound black bear's cage for cleansing using a container of puppy food as a disturbance. Tragically, Waltz was beaten to death by the bear in the appearance of her kids. A group of next-door neighbor, notwithstanding her high level of knowledge, had a permit to own and control the animal since 1994. It only continues to prove that wild animals fit in the wild, not secured in cages. Number 4 is Owls. Not only is it prohibited to have an owl as a favorite in the United States, but some individual buyers can also really understand the level of concern of what is involved in caring. The nighttime noise and the level of damage an owl can do in a private home. Even most maximum veterinarians don't have enough levels of training to competently and securely care for owls, including natural talent and nozzle support. The bottom boundary is that the noble owl is a predator through and over. Quick, strong owls use their beaks and razor-sharp claws to kill and destroy prey, and offensive threats, including human grown-ups and kids, are abused. Plus, if the purpose of having your chest freezer stocked with iced mice, hollow gophers, rats, and rodents, plus dicing and thawing dead pets every midnight for the following 10 years, isn't attractive, then you're not left out for owl control. Number 3 is Lions. There is little doubt why people call the noble lion king of the jungle. The U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, calculates that for every lion and tiger at the zoo, 10 of them are privately owned. Shirley Minshew, North America's relief manager for the International Fund for Animal Welfare IFAW, states that even caring owners impotent match the cat's requirements. We wouldn't hold a cat, a house cat in a touring kennel. So why would we take that to a creature with this much more energy? Al Abel, from Hardin County, Chicago, found this out the terrible way in 2005 when he was stabbed and killed by his pet, 
an African lion while improving the covers in the lion's cage. Number 2 is Alligators and Crocodiles. Tim Harrison saw absurd things as a public safety officer for the city of Oakwood, California, so imagine him when he says that privately owned alligators are the totality of the most popular animals on the person, and dog, charges he's bought with when his job. The reality that a cute amateur gator can reach up to 14 feet in range and hit prey as big as cattle doesn't stop many people from having one. The power of an adult alligator's pain records an average of 2,000 pounds, not to mention that even a scratch can create an infection so hard that it needs limb amputation. That's if the gator doesn't split your leg with a rod of their tailpiece. Number 1 is Reptiles. According to statistics from the Humane Society of the United States, between 1990 and 2011, 18 losses were attached to exotic snakes including boa constrictors, pythons, mambas, iguana, and rattlesnakes. Not to state the reality that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention would like to warn us that a considered 90% of all reptiles provided and drop salmonella bacteria in their wastes. If that's not enough deterrence, take a case from a situation in New Brunswick, Canada. Two siblings, who are 5 and 7 years old, were supposedly killed by a 16-foot-long drawn African rock python, a kind of constrictor. They emerged from an exotic pet shop found below the apartment, wherever the two boys were napping. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our video remember to help us like and share. If you have yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So you will be able to receive the notification when we launch a new video. See you in our next video.